What is up, guys? Welcome back to the shop once again. Uh, so real quick, um, today's going to be an interesting one. We have an 04 F-150 543 valve here. Um, the guy had somebody, and I question this guy's abilities. Uh, he had somebody put in an 05 Navigator 543 valve. First year for the Navigator, first year 04 here for this. Basically the same engine should work his install that I question. Um, so put in 5,000 miles later, he's starting to hear a ticking noise. Wonders why. Now I went out in the parking lot, started it up, let it idle down a little bit, and I figured it out and diagnosed it in about two minutes. I already know it, but I'm not gonna say anything. We're gonna let this guy diagnose it. Now the clue here is, Alex, we have diagnosed this before on another vehicle for another customer exact same problem same smell same noise same side i made an extended video about it with you it's showing you everything and i'll post that if i didn't already this one is all yours buddy this is the way you put those skills to use and it helps you retain for the next time and the next time and the next time. If you haven't noticed it already, a lot of this stuff is very repetitive work and you can get real fast at it. Go for it. So we're going to let him work on that for a little bit and then we're going to come back and see what he found, see what he thinks, and then we're going to show him what it really is. Or else he's going to show us what it really is. We'll see. Up for the challenge? Yep. It's our good old 543 valve. We know those best, right? We should be able to diagnose this pretty darn quick. All right, go for it. Okay, so you may be thinking, well, the 543 valve has a million problems to it. Of course it's making noises. Well, the thing is, when they swapped the engine from the 05 Navigator, they did a timing job on it, new exhaust manifolds, all this nice stuff, made it like new, and then they plopped it into the vehicle here. So like spark plugs, everything's new on a darn thing. So they're, they're perplexed, everything's new. How could it be making this noise? The only thing he didn't change is the roller followers. So he's thinking roller followers. The problem is 04, 05, 06, 07, 08, not too common. 09 through 14, you better change them. So he's thinking that's it. Now I'll let you listen to the noise, what he's talking about. This customer's not complaining of any check engine lights or performance issues, just the noise. And that's the noise he's hearing right there, a tick tap noise but everything's new except for the followers. So he's thinking, roller followers. Well, we're gonna diagnose it and see what he finds. Okay, so Alex went outside real quick to move a vehicle. I'm gonna tell you what it is. You can listen to it right here. Tick tap puff noise. Everything's new, what's up? Well, first thing you do is come up here and you start sniffing. You smell a lot of exhaust gases. So you're sniffing back in here raw exhaust gases. We got tick tap noise on here. What you do is simply, all you gotta do, and the only reason I diagnose this so quick but because I've seen it before, over and over. You got the smell, you got the tick tap noise, it's a blue spark plug. What you do is, while it's running, put your fingers on top of each coil. You shouldn't feel any kind of compression pulses or knocking or tapping finger. Nothing. Nothing. Back here, number four. I could feel every injector, well, every compression, every power stroke on this thing. Every compression stroke. Bump, 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 bump. Every time it fires off, bump, 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 on the power stroke. You can feel it because the spark plug's loose and it's transferring that pressure to the coil. So 
you can smell it, you can feel it with your finger. Your finger directly on it. And you can feel it. You shouldn't feel anything. And that's what it is. So I'm sure other plugs are loose on here a little bit, but number four is bad enough to make noise. Okay, so what'd you figure out? So far, what'd you find out so far? Well, uh, not the manifold. It's louder towards the rear. How do you know it's not the manifold? Because... It's based uh, on experience? Yeah. You see so many of these darn things? And it also gets quieter as it warms up. And it's only usually really loud when it's cold, but then it gets quieter and you only hear it once. A manifold does, yeah. Yeah, It expands, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's louder towards the rear. And louder towards the rear. It, it sounds like mechanical or something. It sounds mechanical towards the rear. You can hear pretty good right there. It sounds like a sharp rapping noise. It's a used engine too. Okay, but the manifold's new. He did a timing set on it. Didn't touch the followers. Followers usually have a problem. Followers usually make a little bit of different noise though. So it's on this side, passenger side, and it's more towards the rear of the engine somewhere. Now the engine's getting hot, what do you do? You ready to listen to it with your stethoscope so you can tell where it's at. You can hear it's only on this side, yeah. or at least loudest on this side. So you got all the information you can take. You can turn it off. Yeah. What's the other thing you notice though? We have it on a hose for the exhaust back there. The exhaust is aftermarket, but it's all bolted up nice. New manifolds. What else do you notice? Use your sniffer. Sniffer. Well, Use your five senses. Well, I, I noticed a smell earlier. They're like an exhaust leak of sorts. So maybe the manifold's leaking. And we'll take a good sniff on this side. Like raw exhaust gases, right? Yeah. Like the real raw ones coming right out of the cylinder. Go to the other side. Stick your head over the other part over there. Okay, well now how's that other side smell? On the driver's side? You don't really smell anything at all. No real exhaust smell? Yeah. I mean, you should probably smell something from over here. Yeah. But it's not like overwhelming like over here. Uh-huh. So what did that tell you? Tick tap. One side only, combustion chamber smell, right in this area, PCB system. but the exhaust manifold, which you can't see, it's old, but it has new gases on it, new stainless studs, all that. So that's sealed up. And of course it sounds a bit different when the exhaust manifolds leak. What do you think? PCB system? Why would it be the PCB system? Okay, now PCBs, PCB valves, sometimes when the spring fails in them, they go back and forth real fast. And they make a rattle tap noise, like a valve train noise. So you are kind of right there. But there is no PCB valve on this engine. And definitely not on this side. This is fresh air. Fresh air being sucked in, going through, coming out on the inside. So no. Not injectors, obviously. They wouldn't make an exhaust smell. Uh, gaskets leaking from the valve covering? No. no. Right, so it that would thing. smell horrible, like the inside of the engine, the crankcase, but it wouldn't, but it wouldn't make a tip, tick tap noise. Nope. Uh, so it could be a poor installation of the manifold and just the follower failed. How do you figure that out? Pull the valve cover, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we're back at this the next day. Uh, coming back to, we had to take off early last night. So what'd you find so far? Well, I pulled the, the coils and... So you pulled the whole side of the engine apart here mm -hmm. to access to the coils uh, to possibly pull the valve cover. Uh -huh. and, and what'd you find so far? First, was this number one, uh, somewhat dirty 
and it's definitely not as clean as like number two on the boot here you're saying yeah, on the boot yeah what you notice about number one almost looks like rusty yeah brown and what freaking stinks right yeah it smells okay so and three is like the same thing as four or as two but then you get the number four and it's just all caked up so four the is the worst bring it up here in better light yeah, you can see it to spin it. Just all caked up with soot. That brownish, tannish garbage. And this one, of course, obviously stinks the worst. I mean, it just is yeah. absolutely horrible. Yeah. Which indicates what? That uh, exhaust gases and stuff are getting past. Which is not normal. Uh -huh. Absolutely pretty, pretty, not normal. Pretty clean. In any situation, it should never happen. Yeah. So what's happening? So uh, the spark. Plug, How are they getting up? The spark plug is probably not wasn't torqued to spec, so it's not seating all the way. And out. what's most important about this engine? Other engines, 130, 112 100. inch pounds. Uh -huh. This one's 25 foot pounds. Huge. People don't read the specs, and guess what? Plugs will loosen. There's a reason for that spec. So let's take a look at it. Can we get to number four back there. So what are you testing for now? Uh, to see if it's uh, if I need to break it loose or not. If it's already loose, I'm able to turn it by hand. You're able to turn it by hand? Yeah. Obviously, this all makes sense. So again, when this first was started out there, I heard this noise. It's like a tick tap, but it has a puff type noise to it. I already knew plugs were loose, especially being. In 04 through uh, early 08 engine, it has this M16 style spark plug. You know, the ones that usually break. Now, what's the one thing you're noticing on here? Just spin it around and look at it. I mean, obviously, you can see the combustion gas are getting past the threads to the boot of the coil. That's pretty obvious. Uh, but what else happens to it? These, these are probably newer plugs uh, that were popped in. Uh, come on to the light over here. These are probably popped in, I imagine, during the engine swap. But they can get pretty nasty like this on the porcelain side and this side uh, pretty quick. So what do you notice? That the uh, the strap is gone that goes around. You can zoom in there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that zoom. You see where it was right there. You can see the center electrodes are a little melted, yeah. too, it looks like. Yeah. Man. So right there is where the strap's at right there, usually. You can see it's chunked off, right? That's where it's welded in. It's gone. And the reason for that, the best that I know of, is obviously if we have, you know, gas coming out when we're on the uh, intake stroke, and it's pulling, there's that suction, you think it can't pull air past. Now that cylinder's running lean. Mm -hmm. Guess what? The cylinder can handle it, but a sharp, tiny piece of metal like the uh, the ground strap on there it will melt off over time, a little at a time, uh, and it'll go away just like that. Yeah, when it's lean, it's running hotter. Definitely. And it's just gonna focus on that on that part right there and it's gonna get red hot and it just can't handle. It's so small, it can't dissipate. A mm -hmm. cylinder head, the piston, uh, all that stuff can dissipate, but that cannot, and it will go. So a lot of times this causes, you know, I, I've seen them, you know, still run okay, uh, but a lot of times this will cause a crazy misfire uh, because the ground strap's not there to arc off to. Um, so yeah, good find right there, and it can it can make all that noise. So you you, you don't automatically go to valve train even though it's like that tick tap, almost tingy noise like metal. It's it's the plug that sounds just like it, and the key here is that smell. The smell initially, you open the hood, you're looking at it, what's going on, you're trying to listen, you can smell exhaust gases right here. And especially in this case, the manifold is all new and torqued down, gaskets, why? It's coming from the cylinder. And then you pull up a coil, and they're freaking nasty like that. Or like the other one that's just caked, and guess what? It's all it, it's like a murder mystery, you're figuring all this stuff out, the clues. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Well, it's your first uh, real diagnosis that I really helped you on, and you certainly narrowed it down. Now they got to get authorization, swap them out, and uh, down the road this guy goes. 
All right, you ready for this? Yep. I think it's all fixed. Should be. Should be. That's not very confident. All right, let's try it. Let's start it up. Sounds good on this side. the wheel well. Sounds gravy. Let's listen back here again. Sounds good. Can you believe it? Simple as a spark plug. Yeah, sounding like Roller a metal on metal valve train noise from the engine. That's how it can sound. And it sounds more like a tinny noise like that on this engine for some reason over let's say the 542 valve uh, that also has spark plugs that loosen up but this one they usually don't loosen up they're loosening up from not being installed right uh, where it's the two valve they have to loosen no matter what because of a thread issue but they'll sound just like a valve train on here could easily pull the valve cover and said i don't know i didn't find anything not get paid for it and the customer has no resolve on it we zeroed in, found it, fixed it, and it's a really simple fix, and now it sounds like brand new. Cool, cool listen. Yep. I mean, it's a life lesson right there. Yep. That's experience, sure. that's what happens. All right, that's it, that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.